Right folks, over there we've got Roborough Hill Fort in the distance, which I'm not doing today. I don't think there would have been time, you know. It's almost two o'clock already, I can't believe it's gone that fast. I can't believe I've been out four hours. I'm just wondering if um, it was the 10 o'clock bus I caught. I don't know, it just seems to me have gone very fast. Anyway, we're on the turn now. We've left that lovely valley behind. Happy Valley. I'm not going to call it that. It doesn't sound very nice, but um, the girl said it was her happy place. But we're on the turn. We're going to head back now towards Tynings Farm. And it's a bit nippier. So the wind's going to face us when we go around this corner. I'm not going up. I'm going... Um, wait, and I've got to decide where I'm going. You could either go up there, Sheila, or you can follow that path there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to follow the lower path, I think. No, I think you should go this way. That might take you down into the valley more. Right, over and out. Right, folks. Over there, we've got Roborough Hill Fort in the distance, which I'm not doing today. I don't think there would have been time, you know. It's almost two o'clock already. I can't believe it's gone that fast. I can't believe I've been out four hours. I'm just wondering if um, it was the 10 o'clock bus I caught. I don't know. It just seems to me have gone very fast. Anyway, we're on the turn now. We've left that lovely valley behind. Happy Valley. I'm not going to call it that. It doesn't sound very nice, but um, the girl said it was her happy place. But we're on the turn. We're going to head back now towards Tynings Farm. And uh, it's a bit nippier, so the wind's going to face us when we go around this corner. I'm not going up, I'm going, um, wait, and I've got to decide where I'm going. You could either go up there, Sheila, or you can follow that path there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to follow the lower path, I think. No, I think you should go this way. That might take you down into the valley more. So he's right, taking overnight. the lead for the whole of this day so far. I apologise for all the shaky, bumpy swayingness. But if I don't practice with the camera, I'll never learn how to control it. Because it's not, it's a, called a still camera. I'm making it do things it shouldn't really do. I've got a feeling I used to use this track in the past, but because they've done a lot of chopping and hacking and everything, um, the tracks can be confusing. It can be confusing. There's a track down there I know very well. That takes us down straight down onto the lower pathway that will take us to Tidian's Farm on the lower track. Not far from the stream. And I've got a feeling this one, obviously muckier, is higher up, but would take us in the same direction. Because down there you've got the valley with all the stream running along down there. When I often come from Dolbury and Roebear over there, I walk along deep in that valley. I'm higher up now, I haven't gone down yet. And I've decided to shut that up. Just do a little bit more practice with the Sony on bumpy ground. Admiring the beautiful trees. This memories card is 64 gigabytes. And I only just scratched the surface of it. They didn't have any smaller ones. It's always handy though if you're going off for a couple of weeks, isn't it? As long as you don't erase it all. <sighs> yeah, it's quite blowy now. I'm glad I brought my coat. I 
and my scarf and some sort of gloves. Yeah, all we would have done if we'd gone down on the lower track, we'd be just the other side of this, this bit here. And we'll be joining up with a path in a minute as we curve round. They all link up, all these paths. Um, but it can get confusing. That sometimes they don't like going off track, so I end up back where I started when I should be down there. See what I mean? And that's what I call it um, a di unnecessary diversion that I've done. But uh, I have a feeling that these all lead to Tynion's farm. And obviously they, they go up into the woods again. This is one of the higher tracks I don't, re don't often do. Don't often do. I'm normally down there where the stream is. Down there. I can see it. There'll be another path like this one just down there that I usually follow. But I thought, no, do stay up higher today. You always do the lower one. Stay up higher. Wonder what sort of bird that is making that noise. I don't know. <sighs> Sun's gone in. They said it would be grey this afternoon. They said there would be more cloud. Fortunately, we captured the valley. We captured it while the blue sky was out. Yeah, and straight down there will be another path, by the way, just pointing out our bearings all the time. I can see some people walking up over there. And I'm walking this way. Now if I wanted to go to Winscombe now, I would cross the stream there, go up over there and risk going through cows, fields of cows. <sighs> Which I've, I've done it in the other way around this year, before the cows are out. <sighs> this is where the bikers come down, see? Big drop that, isn't it? And then they go across whoosh, and down again. Yeah, I can see people walking. Walking fast. Walking fast. I can see the path down the bottom. So all I'm doing is running a parallel path. And we're, make, we're we're making our way to Tinian's farm up the lower end, going past that little cottage, that little farm. Where before now, in the autumn, I've seen the swallows getting ready to fly away. It's so gorgeous everyone. It's taken me a few years to imprint in my mind the main paths here. But like I said, it's only last week I first went up that track that I had seen but never explored and I've seen others now. I, there are loads of them actually. But that was well worth it. Now just down there, we could have easily just gone down and ended up on that track there as well. In a minute we'll come to a junction point where that one would join this one. And then there will be tracks going up. few bluebells out where it can catch the sunlight the bluebells will come even with the trees there there we go we've got a merger of paths now just ahead of us and there's a, a, even a beyond that one there's another one and we'll all link up eventually would all link up. But like I say, it's grey now, it's clouded over. 
Um, I can see a biker up there. Yeah, I can see a biker right up there. Right over and out. Right, a couple of cyclists gone by. Mountain bikers, a woman. She looked pretty fit. She was um, very slim. She had a friendly face. I cut a lovely oak there. And then this bit here, folks, is what you see for miles. This is the reference point of Roebera Warren tall pine trees that I talk about all the time. This is where they stick out. Doesn't look a lot from here. <clears throat> no, it doesn't look a lot from here. But um, I talk about them. These are the reference points and here I am very, very close to them. Roebarrow Warren, everyone. Yeah, well, we managed to get the track in, the pretty track, with all the bluebells, the tall trees, with blue sky. Uh, later, I did see a munjack or a deer, but it was it. it, it I hadn't got the camera. For, I wasn't expecting to see it. Uh, it was a small, I think it's more of a munjack. And, uh, it sort of disappeared, but I just see it with the naked eye. <clears throat> I took a very quick photo, but I don't think it'll come out. I didn't focus or anything. I was just, I had the camera and I just thought. <laughs> Right, we're now coming up to another junction point. Where if you wanted to do the West Mendip Way now without the cows, without going through the cow field, well, you could have done it back there as well, by the way, but here's another way. And you, uh, you, you turn right here and go right round that big bend turn right here and that'll take you across the busy Cheddar Shipham Road and then you can join up with the West Mendip Way uh, that's the alternative if you don't want to risk cows but it's an extra bit on your journey to start with now here's a, a track I wish I'd been on earlier I wanted to be on a higher one <clears throat> that one there And that is the sort of track I would be following if I'd done it in reverse, if you know what I mean. If I'd done it in reverse, if not, I'll do it another time. So here we go, we've got a lovely walk down there, snakes, but it snakes around and joins a road. And uh, it joins up with that Tynings Road actually so I'm not going that way this way you can see the bluebells and pretty flowers all over the place some there look don't know what they're called this can be a quagmire in other times of the year this is a total quagmire But you can see lots of bluebells through here. Right, right through there, some type of buttercups there. Somebody coming down behind me. Oh yeah, some sort of walker going that way. I'm not going that way today. I'm going up here. But that is the other way. If you want to go to Winscombe, you can go that way. Oh, look at that. That's sweet, isn't it? For a small bottom. Isn't that lovely? I might have to take a picture of that. And here's a little private garden nut. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It says private. That 
probably takes you down the valley there. We're not far from Tynion's farm, by the way. Yeah, that, that would take you somewhere. Isn't that beautiful? Right, what I'm going to have to do is um, pick, turn off a minute and take some photos. And then I'm going up that way. Over upwards and onwards. Junction point back there. Things I've all learned over the years. And the private bluebell wood here. My goodness, isn't it gorgeous? What a gorgeous little place. You see, I might have just missed this. I might have come out of season and missed this. There's a little stream running down there. There's a gorgeous tree, that one there. It's not an oak, it's, it could be an elm, I'm not sure what it is. Could it be a beech? There's a very old tree up there though. That one up there, and he's spooky that one, look. And then look at the bluebells. This is like bluebell heaven here, isn't it? It's got a stream. That's a gorgeous tree though. But it's not an oak. I think it might be an elm. I can see a squirrel. Aren't you a beautiful tree? That beautiful little valley down there. Gorgeous. I'll turn off again. <laughs> 